So you're a web designer that wants to make a little side cash without taking on the stress, frustration, and anxiety of client projects. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you the seven best ways to make side cash as a web designer without taking on any client projects. Let's get into it. What's going on welcome back. So let's dive right into it. The first way that I would recommend that you go about making money on the side as a designer is selling web design templates. This is a really easy way to make money on the side because you are not beholden to any sort of time frame, schedule, or deadline. Basically, you can just design templates or, or sites on the side whenever you have some free time, and once those are completed, you can list them on any one of the hundreds of marketplace sites out there that sell web design templates. A good example of this is ThemeForest. Now what you can also do is if you want to take it a step further, and I have uh, several friends that do this, you can design the website, then you can develop it in a tool like Webflow, and then you can list it on the Webflow templates marketplace. And by doing this, not only are you selling the designs, but you're selling a fully developed website, which means that you can charge a little bit extra. And I have friends that are making hundreds of dollars every single day and every single week just by having one or two templates there in a marketplace that's really popular and gets a lot of purchases. Now the one thing that I would recommend when it comes to these templates is don't try to create templates that are too general that anyone can buy them. I would recommend making very niche specific templates that are going to call out to a very specific type of person. So make a template that is specific for dentists or lawyers or accountants or a personal brand or maybe a YouTuber. If you make these templates based around a specific niche, it's gonna make it easier for them to see how that's going to work with their business. And so get very specific and it's gonna be a lot easier to sell these templates. The second way you can make money on the side is starting a YouTube channel. Now obviously this is what I did because you're watching my YouTube video right now, but YouTube is in my opinion, the best way to build a community, build a fan base, and then sell them things. And so for me, my biggest focus of this channel is to provide value to you and help you far more than I could ever get back in value from you, right? And so I, I make all these videos and then in turn, I'm able to put affiliate links, I'm able to get ad revenue from YouTube, I'm able to sell courses. It gives me a lot of different options and so I'd highly recommend starting a YouTube channel but not doing it because you wanna monetize it, but instead do it to help other designers or even other clients within a niche. Um, by, by creating value first, it's gonna make it much easier to build that fan base. Now the third way is very similar to building a YouTube channel and that is building a niche specific Instagram page. Instagram is perfect for designers like us because it is very focused on the visual, right? There it's images that we're sharing, it's videos that we're sharing, and so we can share our work, we can share other inspiration. We can build up a pretty cool account on Instagram that other designers like to follow and they engage with our content. And by doing this again, you're setting yourself up to have a fan base that then in turn can purchase your own products, purchase affiliate products. There are a number of different ways that you can set yourself up to then monetize an Instagram account. Number four is starting a newsletter. A newsletter is a highly underrated way to make money. It is again the idea of building a community, building a fan base, getting as many people as possible to know you, feel like they have a relationship with you, and in turn you're going to be able to sell things to them. Now a great example of this is a newsletter by Milo Mastermind. Now this is a blog that they put out tons of valuable content, but they also have a newsletter where they are constantly providing value and then sharing all of these different affiliate programs or affiliate links that they have to really useful tools for other freelancers. And so their newsletter has, at this point I'm sure, hundreds of thousands of subscribers and they consistently converse or communicate with their list a couple times a week. And so by engaging with people that consistently makes them feel like they know you, they trust you, and in turn you're gonna be able to monetize that newsletter in a number of different ways. The next is coaching or training other designers. Now this again is something that I do and it's been very profitable and, and even more importantly, it's been very fulfilling because I've been able to share the things that I know with other designers. Now for me, I have built my own courses and I sell them through a program called Teachable. Now you can do this and you can sell higher ticket, you can sell lower ticket programs, 
or you can also list your courses on different libraries like Udemy. This is a great way to list a you know a twenty dollar course, a fifty dollar course, and by having courses out there, and then again feeding these courses with a YouTube channel and Instagram page, you're going to be able to monetize this really, really easily. Now, one thing that I would recommend to you is don't create just a general course because there are thousands of courses out there on how to design websites or how to be a web designer. So instead, get very specific with what this course is going to teach people because by doing that, it's going to make you stand out. There's going to be less competition with other course creators and it's gonna be easier for you and your message to resonate with specific people that want to accomplish a specific goal or have a specific problem that they're trying to resolve. So get specific with these courses and it's going to be much, much easier to sell them. The sixth way for you to make money on the side as a web designer is what I think has the very most potential to literally make millions of dollars, but also it has the potential to completely flop and make you nothing. It's going to be a longer term investment, but it's something that I have decided rather than invest all my money in real estate or in the stock market, I have decided to invest my money and my team's time and efforts back into building other websites or other online companies that can then eventually be acquired. And so what we're doing is we are building several different um, websites and companies that generate leads in different industries. Um, I have created my own e-commerce stores. By building your own businesses and then getting those to a point where they are appealing and people reach out wanting to acquire them, you're gonna get to the point where you have a ton of different online assets that could make you a ton of money. I got this idea because early on I started an e-commerce store and just three months into it, I was able to sell that e-commerce store for about four or $5,000. And I very quickly realized that with my skill set as a designer, and especially if you have skill sets in marketing or SEO, which my team does, you're gonna be able to build these online businesses and turn them into assets and it's gonna be really easy, let's just say that you build a website that generates leads for law firms in your area, and once you build this up to a point where it is generating leads, you could reach out to a law firm and say, hey, I'll either sell you this website for $100,000 because it's bringing in X amount of leads, or you could go into them and say, hey, I'm getting five new leads for personal injury cases every month through my website, would you be willing to pay me per lead for me to hand those leads directly to you? So you can see how building these websites as assets online could be extremely profitable, but also there's a chance that your sites either flop or once you build them up, there's no interest in them and nobody wants to acquire them or pay for the leads. And so that's just a risk that you're gonna have to take, but I think this is the best way for me personally to spend my time and my money at this point because I've been, you know, I've been building up other people's businesses for years and I decided that it was time to build up my own businesses and reap all of the benefits from our hard work. Now, the seventh and final way that I would recommend that you make side cash without bringing on client work is working your way into a scenario where you're fulfilling the client work, but you're not the one interacting or taking on the risk. And you can do this by joining an agency or connecting and building a partnership with another freelancer where they land the clients, they manage the contracts, they manage the communication, and then you just do the work. Now the nice part about this is you can set it up where you have a little bit more control of your schedule. And again, the, the worst part about freelancing is dealing with frustrating clients that don't pay their bills or that have a million different revisions. And so if you can work your way into, let's just say working with an agency like mine with uh, Pate Digital, you would be able to basically be a contractor, but we would tell you, hey, you can take on projects that have a way longer timeline, so you're not gonna be crunched for time. And then whenever you have a chance, just put in you know, a few hours here and a few hours there to help us complete this project. And we will pay you either an hourly rate or a set fee to complete this design or this website. And this is a great way for you, again, to reap the benefits of freelance work with clients without having to manage or go through all of the crappy stuff that comes with it. All right, so if you're still interested in learning more about how to increase your income as a web designer, click this video up above. This is gonna be a great place to start. And if you have any questions, drop them down in the comments. Please be sure to smash the like button. If you found any value in this video, that really helps me out. 
and be sure to subscribe if you want more videos like this every single week. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.